Hi, Bulldogs. I am creating here this uh, video to give you the instructions for our project for National Poetry Month. Um, we're doing contemporary connections. So as we've learned from our first unit, uh, we learned about the various characteristics of da Vinci that made him have possessed the skills that he possessed and how can we translate them to STEM thinking and to use um, in the STEM world around us. We learned that one of his characteristics was about making connections. Remember, we did the assignment where we made connections between diabetes and space and da Vinci. And after that lesson, we tried to keep making various connections um, with things we learned about. So with this project, we're going to be making connections between poets, the Industrial Revolution, and unfortunately, the coronavirus. So let me explain to you how you're going to do that. It would be helpful if you've been watching the videos I've been posting in April so far. Every day I featured a poet from the Industrial Revolution and sharing an example of their poetry, I showed it next to a photo of how the world is uh, responding to the coronavirus that I tried to make a connection to. Hi, Bulldogs. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to fill out this spreadsheet. So on this spreadsheet, there's one for, I have here blocks four, six, and seven, and also ones I have for blocks um, one and three. So you want to hopefully fill out a date in the future. So suppose you're going to find one for April 23rd, and your name is Jim Bob, and you would fill out your name is Jim Bob, right? And then find a poet from that day. It could be the day they were born, the day they were die, they died. Maybe it's a day they won a certain award or something significant happened to them. So suppose this is poet X, Y, Z. Um, so far, the for the first few days, the poets I have have been um, not too diverse. They've all been men. Um, they've all been of European ancestry, some different religions. Um, but if you can find um, poets um, of, you know, both genders uh, from of different parts of the world, um, that would be really cool as well. All right. And then do not... You want all of these dates filled out first, only then can you go to the second column. So suppose every single one is filled, then this um, po uh, person here, we'll call them uh, Molly Jane, all right? She's doing poet QRS, okay? So only then should there be more than one person a day. Always go forward. Don't fill out the ones like I've already done, like April 1st. And so all the ones here are finished. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now going back. After you filled out the spreadsheet, you're gonna fill out a doc on your person. This doc is 50% um, of your project here. So you would then fill out your author. So your author is right X, Y, and Z. Um, connection to the date, maybe they were born that day, then also put the year, 1834 we'll put. Then you're going to find um, a poem um, that they did. So for one of the examples here, um, I did, what did I do? The Pixie and the Grocer, which actually was a short story, but that's okay. Um, then you would either copy the, the whole poem or the part that you use. You can literally copy and paste this, that's okay. Then you're going to find an image online that relates to the coronavirus and how it um, relates in some way to your poem. Remember, I found an image of a person working in a grocery store, um, stacking the shelves that were empty from all the hoarding from it. You also want to put the source of your image, whether it's the AP or a certain newspaper or something like that. And then here, you're going to connect your poem to the current pandemic. So I didn't write it so much, but I explained it in my video. So here you would, um, you don't need to write pages here. Um, you may wanna put a bunch of bullet points or a good solid 
paragraph here. Now, you do all this well, you can get a three on this, which would be like a 90. For those of you who are reaching for the fours, you want a poet that actually relates to the Industrial Revolution. So like I was going to do for one day a poet, a Petrarch, because we learned about Petrarch. The Petrarch has like a very weak connection to the Industrial Revolution. So you might want to find someone who was born in the late 1700s or the 1800s and then look up how did the Industrial Revolution influence them or their writing. Remember, I mentioned that for Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote Pixie and the Grocer, how the Industrial Revolution was reflected in his writings because it revealed people's anxieties of the world changing. So we would write that um, here if you have a connection to the Industrial Revolution. If you don't have a connection, that that's okay. Um, you can still do well and get like a 90 um, if you do very well with everything else. Now, also, then, you want to fill out your slideshow. So I'm going to have a slide deck for one for blocks one and three, and one's for block four, um, six, and seven. So if you filled out April 23rd, right, you would scroll down to that day, and then you would put, you know, your poet, right, the title, the excerpt. Um, oops, excerpt of the poem. And you also want to put your image um, of what you selected here. Now, if you, um, even if you don't do this work yet, it might be a good idea to go fill out the spreadsheet right away. Just find a person so that you're not stuck with like one date that you don't really want. Um, and then maybe on this slide, just put their name and you can always go back and make the slide better in the future. Um, if there's two people, on this day, like suppose we ended up with two people on April 23rd for honors classes, there shouldn't be any repeats, but for four, six, and seven, there might be, then you would just make, you know, a new slide for April 23rd if there's a second one. Okay. Um, now I do have a rubric. Oops, 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 if I can find it. Oh, here we go. We're at the one that says rubric. Um, and this is on the dock as well. So this is how um, you'll be greeted. So to get the 90, you want to make sure that you, your answers are accurate. You're not saying Hans Christian Andersen was from France if he was from Denmark. You want to make sure your connections are clear and explained in detail, right? If you just put, you know, there, um, these were both bad things. Okay, that's very broad. But if you can show detail, then that's a stronger connection. Make sure all required information is there. Then make sure everything here on your slide. You have your date, the poet's name, the poem name, the excerpts of the poem, and the picture. Now, if you're trying to get the four, right, you want to connect it to the Industrial Revolution. And also, you want to have a day two days before the date you're signing up for. Now, suppose if you're doing, if you're stuck with April 1st, well, that already passed. You can't do that. But as long as you have a date for the future, starting on like the day I post this. So if I post this on April 3rd, right, um, anyone from April 5th and after would want to have your slide done so that on that day, I could actually show your slide on my update video. There, that would be the goal. Um, also, um, for the slideshow to try to score or four with that, on your slideshow, you actually put a link to a screencast like this. It can be just audio. We don't need to see your face, although it would be nice to see everyone again of you reading your side and explaining it. Um, and then I can actually take that video and put it into our update video for that day. And once again, I would ask that that's done two days before, because if you have it a video, but it's on the day, right? I, I, it's gonna be too late for me to upload it. So hopefully that makes um, sense to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I know the biggest question is when is it due? Um, the last day you can really submit it is April 20, uh, 30th, because that's the end of the month. But I'm hoping some people try to get fours and post things earlier so that um, I can share some of your work with the rest of um, the awesome Bulldogs throughout the month. And, um, you know, I would at least try to go claim your spot as soon as you can. Um, so even if you don't do the work right away, you know who you're going to do, you know what day you can do it, um, and you can move forward. 
Okay. Um, you can respond to uh, this if you have any questions or shoot me an email. Um, most likely whatever question you have is a question many others have as well. Um, and it is a project grade um, for those of you asking as well. Okay. Be well, guys.